Welcome back. We begin on our regional radar this evening, which for once it's a relief to not see filled with precipitation that we did see this past week. We do have a little system coming down from the north up by the Minneapolis, Minnesota area. That'll be with us overnight tonight, though we won't be seeing nearly as much rain as we saw over this past week. Looking at the past January 22nd through the 29th, a lot of the area saw a significant amount of rain. Charleston over three inches at three inches and eight hundredths. Most of the rest of the area was above two and a half inches. Paris, the outlier at 2.89 inches. But I want you to look at our average for this typical January period, 2.29 inches of rain. So most of the area in just this past week saw their fair share of rain for this entire month of January. Now looking at today's highs though, we did see temperatures into the 30s and the 40s throughout the area. 38 here in Charleston, our warmest was out west in Taylorville. They got up to 46. Looking at our area conditions currently though, we are starting to see those clouds moving from to the east. The most eastern part of our area is covered with clouds right now, but we do have another system of clouds moving through along with some rain showers overnight here on EIU's campus 35 for our overnight low, mostly cloudy skies. The clouds will be returning along with a chance of rain. I'll have for you here in just a second. But looking at our daily breakdown for tomorrow, that rain will not be with us when we start at our day at 8 a.m. tomorrow. But back up to the 40s for tomorrow, 40 for our daytime high, starting out very warm, 37 for our 8 a.m. temperatures. And winds are going to be shifting from our southwest to our northwest as the low pressure system associated with that rain moves over our area. Now, looking at our future cast right now, this is 7 o'clock. We aren't seeing much cloud cover. For the most part, the clouds have moved out, but another round of clouds move in along with that rain, which just passed by us here. It's coming down along from our northwest down to our southeast. Most of the area is going to be seeing that rain. Now, some people have been saying that there is a chance for some precipitation during the daytime tomorrow. As you can see here, we did see a couple flecks, and these are reporting as snow, though we may be seeing a stray shower or two throughout the daytime tomorrow. No rain and no wintry mix is expected, but, rain, but uh, clouds will be staying with us throughout the day and throughout the next few days. Now, when it's all said and done, rain projections, not nearly as much rain as we saw, as I showed you in that graphic, only about a tenth of an inch for the entirety of the viewing area. Out east, you'll be seeing a little bit more than those out west, but roughly about a tenth of an inch for the entire area. Again, Tuesday, the sun will be going away from us, unfortunately, 40 degrees. Wednesday, we do see it a little bit again, mostly sunny skies, 48 for our high on Wednesday. And we could even see temperatures back up to the 50s on Thursday, 52 with another chance of some afternoon rain. And this is all taking part, due in part to what is up in our upper air. We have a little bit of a trough moving through of our upper air that has been bringing with it a little bit of colder temperatures. As you saw with our 40 degrees, it's very rare to say that that is below average for our previous week, but we do have a trough of warmer air that will be approaching our area Wednesday into Thursday, which is where we saw those 50 degree temperatures. And as you look at our seven day outlook here, we do start a bit of a cool down starting at the end of the week, 46 for Friday, but back up to the upper 40s for Saturday. Sunday, we do have another opportunity for some rain, 45 for your high there. And the sun will be out to play on Monday, a high of 46.